Kate Systematic from Live to UTV. We're in the media tent with Ash Grunwald at Pete's Ridge Festival. I've actually seen your show um, when you've been doing the festival rounds. Oh, yeah. And um, you seem to be a bit of a festival junkie. You like to get around the festival scene. Is, is that just something you're passionate about or is that just where things lead? I guess it's just where things lead. I mean, uh, there's nothing better than a festival. People come there to be festive, so it's always fun. And um, yeah, I don't like saying no to festivals. I'd, I'd, I'd be silly, like a, it's just fun to do. So I thrive on it. So I'm doing a band thing these days, so a little bit different, but it's good. Good to be festive. So where's your favourite place to play? Have you got a favourite venue? Uh, no, not not one. Like I've been doing it for long enough now. I guess I've been touring for about eight years or something that. A lot of places do feel like home and there's just little regions that I like to um, go to, places I want to be anyway. Um, and then, you know, there's a lot of them in Australia. Um, and uh, I mean, I think this year, one of my New Year's resolutions is probably going to be to hang around in Osmore and just, you know, enjoy a healthy lifestyle <laughs> and just not work too hard. Just, I, I love gigging. I love following the coast around and uh, yeah, so I'm going to do more of that. Is there um, a particular act you'd like to catch while you're here? You know, Jeff Martin's playing right now, it sounds pretty cool. I actually haven't seen his live thing, I've bumped into him a few times but and it sounds good, he's a really good singer. Um, and I saw uh, Lawrence Greenwood aka uh, Whitley just before, So and he's really good. And uh, Blue King Brown, I know they're playing. Yep. They're really good. Oh, and uh, Zenith from um, up north. Yep. Uh, they're really good. I've been a big fan of them since I first saw them in Coranda. Uh, and I just bumped into them, so it would be good to check check them out. So where do you draw your inspiration from? Uh, it's, it's pretty varied. Obviously, rhythms and beats and stuff are a big part of what I do. Increasingly, over the years, become more a part of what I do, so... Often I draw from like the hip hop world for my beats and stuff, um, and I wor I'm working with a hip hop guy from a band called The Funk Oars. Um, actually, we did a song together that's been on the radio a fair bit lately. Um, so I'm going to do a tour with them in February, which will be interesting because you know it's it literally they are sort of hardcore in the hip hop scene, and I'm pretty much hardcore in the root scene. Uh, and so we're throwing it together and seeing what happens as a double bill. So, and then yeah, we, we've re we're going to record a lot of songs together and stuff as well. Yeah. well. That sounds pretty interesting. What was the band that he was from? Uh, funk Oars, they're called. Okay. Like not funk Oars, but funk Oars. <laughs> yeah, we'll just clarify that. There's, there's nothing uh, nothing seedy about that at all. They probably are. There's probably a seedy inference in there. I don't know, but because they're, I mean, they're they're party style kind of dudes. But um, they're in the same crew as Hilltop Hoods, and they're from the Adelaide Hills, where a lot of hip hop seems to have come out of. And when I went over there and recorded with them, we were recording in Hilltop Hoods studio. Nice. Uh, it's really cool how they all sort of they stick together and help each other out heaps. Uh, it's quite inspiring, actually. I never really. You're not part of a crew when you're, you know, you're doing roots music, <laughs> but they really do help each other out in that same way, and yeah. it's very cool to see. Yeah. Oh, astronomy class last night, which sort of oh, hip hoppy yeah. kind of. Yeah. I did a track with them as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, small like, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we were watching them, and in the audience, and I don't know whether this is a, um, a, a particular crowd thing, but they were doing this thing to find each other. So when more of their crew came in and couldn't find them, they're putting their hands in the air and doing this seagull kind of squawk, <laughs> and it was like a, a way for them to find their their posse, I guess. Oh, really? But it was really bizarre. Yeah. Well, they're, they're a good lot of guys. Um, I'm also a fan of The Herd and, and yep. Astronomy Class. So, yeah, on their latest album, I, I did a track with them about going up the coast and getting... He's a real started. solemn fella, isn't he, Aussie? He's cool. I, yeah, he's... he's I, I couldn't get anything out of him. I couldn't even get a facial expression. <laughs> he was giving me anything. <laughs> yeah, that's how he rolls. He's, but he's a very uh, genuine sort of... Uh, he's a gentleman. Rounded. Yeah. yeah. So, across like that. Yeah. So, I don't think you trust in me. <laughs> so thank you very much for your time this evening and um, we'll keep an eye out for where you're going to be popping up around the, the nation over the next 12 months. Okay. So we are live to UTV and this is Ash Grunwald.